Welcome to the Two Minute Entrepreneurship, where we use movies, shows, books, podcasts, and people to give you tips on how to be a better entrepreneur and sharpen your skills daily. Subscribe and like. New episodes release every Monday through Friday. Why CBS almost failed. Since its start in 1927, CBS had comfortably been one of the big three television networks alongside NBC and ABC. In the 1950s and 60s, CBS regularly beat its competition in the ratings and gained a reputation for sophisticated TV storytelling. However, a touch of overdiversification in the late 1980s nearly led to a hostile takeover from Ted Turner. Ted Turner was almost able to buy all of CBS through stock and was stopped by the court system. CBS finally had to let go of its independence amid falling ratings in the early 90s, selling out to Westinghouse for $5.4 billion. How CBS Turned Things Around Starting his tenure in 1995, CEO Leslie Moonves went back to the company's roots by putting CBS's focus squarely on quality original programming. Into the 21st century, Moonves was quick to embrace the new format of video on demand, too, taking advantage of unique profit models to further diversify programming. Between 2002 and 2015, CBS under Moonves leadership was the most watched network on TV, with average weekly audiences of over 10 million, according to a 2015 Vulture report. Thanks for tuning into the 2 Minute Entrepreneurship.